Hey, what's up, peeps? Okay, so today we're gonna be doing some stuff just a little bit different. All right, you know what? Normally what we do is we tone our canvas and then we get our subject projected onto the canvas and then we do like a black outline and work from there. We're still gonna do kind of that. However, today we're painting a choo-choo train. Now, how this one's gonna be different is we're gonna turn on the projector or we're gonna have it on the canvas, but instead of doing that black outline first, we're gonna mix together a bunch of different hues of purple and instead of that main subject, we gotta make the smoke first. You know, make everything blend together. All smoky and ethereal and shit. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, so we got a bunch of colors in the palette. Purples, pinks, and blues. And then we got this big fluffy brush. It almost looks like some type of foliage. Kind of interesting, because how are we gonna make a train without a bush? Anyway, what we're gonna do for this, we're gonna take just a little tip of the brush, we're gonna zip it in each one of these walls, and then we're gonna lightly kind of just go back and forth over this already dried canvas. And we're just gonna work all these colors in so we get this like weird cloud looking shape. And this is gonna give us a good background for this train. And remember, this train is a locomotive, not the thing that gets done to your mom. Now we did start projecting the original image onto the canvas. We're not painting it yet, but we need to know where this is so we know we're not to paint. Like we don't have to do all this steam stuff down here, just here and up. Little dab. You're only gonna have about this much paint on the brush at any given time. You know what, it might help just to start from the bottom, wave it back and forth just a little bit, just to know where you're at. And then once we get where we know where we need to go, then we can turn the light on and do this in the land of the living. And if you get too much paint on there, don't worry about it, we can massage all that out. Voila. All right, so we're painting a train today because hey, we're we're I'm in Pennsylvania. Not us, not we. Maybe you are. Fuck, I don't I don't know where the fuck you people are. Leave a comment. Let me know what state you're in. And trains are like a big part of Pennsylvania culture. That I've been drawing faces wanted to give you guys something different. And I kind of wanted to paint something different. You know, cuz I'm trying to be a little bit different. Anyway, I had an article that came out about me yesterday. That that's cool. I'll put the link in the bio. I'm not going to read it though. You can. But you know, if you've been following me for a bit, you know that my ninth book came out last month. What's today? 21st. A little bit more than a month ago. And trying to get pressed about my shit's like trying to pull teeth. But I found a journalist at Johnstown's Tribune Democrat that was, you know, willing to write about me, so that's that's cool. I mean I don't really want to read it to you guys though. And not because I don't appreciate it or anything, but I'm terrible at fucking accepting praise. Even though the article itself is uh well you read it and let me know what you think. That's kind of like a conundrum I have, though. Because, you know, I'm trying to sell shit on the internet, but I don't like people saying nice things about me. And then more often than not, when somebody does say something nice about me, my first thought about that is, well, what did you mean by that? So, you know, that's a fun mental state to always be living in. One thing, though, about that article that, like, really did stick out, though, was he was talking about my books, and he mentioned that two soldiers accidentally became immortal in Afghanistan. And if, if you haven't read my books, it was a Marine and a sailor in Iraq. But, hey, you know, press is press, right? <clears throat> I don't know, man. It's like one of those like weird things where I personally think writing nine books is an accomplishment. And, and they're like full-length novels and all that, too. They're not just like fucking little novellas. But I guess it is too much to want somebody to have read those first and then come to me and be like, hey, dude, can I write about these? Again, nothing against this journalist. I, I found him. I found him. That's, that's, that's me. But if we want to talk about other journalists, to say that's an uphill battle ignores the fact that the hill is a cliff. And one of the things that like bothers me the most about all this, or that kind of thing, I have a number of semi-famous friends that are like rising the ranks. And more than once I've been contacted by journalists to like, you know, provide quotes or talk about these other people. And, and, and I do because, you know, I'm trying to be a good friend. And then after I talk to the journalist or whoever, I say, hey, I see that you're writing articles about veterans who are doing something productive with their lives after they get out of the military, making an impact on the community and all that. Here's all the stuff I'm doing. Is there any way that maybe we could, uh, you know, uh, shovel some that live my way, which a quarter of the time is met with them saying, oh yeah, sure, we'll get on that, and then nothing ever manifests, or just getting ghosted, which is fun too. Anyway, let's let's uh, let's get back to painting.
Now what you see what I'm doing here is I'm mixing these colors actually on the canvas. That'll make all this stuff blend together better in the final product. Now, with these specific colors that I'm using now, they'll end up kind of looking a little bit muted, the mix part anyway. But that's okay because we're still in the early stages and we're going to paint over most of this anyway. You know, going back to layering everything up. All right, let's turn the lights on and straighten this up just a little bit. All right, so we got more form here than anything else. And this is like a blotchy mess right now, but that's what it looks like at this stage in the painting. Let's let that dry and then get back to it later. So I guess also while we're on this tune, I got an interesting email today. So to back this up a little bit, I have a buddy, Damian Larkin. Um, he's an Irish author, he writes sci-fi. He wrote these books called Big Red and Blood Red Sand, which I wholeheartedly recommend. As a matter of fact, I even wrote a review that ended up on the back of the second one. Anyway, his publisher started following me on like Twitter and Instagram and all that, which again, neat. And at first I thought, hey, maybe this is my fucking door into, you know, an actual publishing company. Though it is small press, so you know you only get so much with that. But anyway, I was checking out their website, and I think one of the words they said was that their books were like non salacious, which if you've read my books, it's nothing but salacious. But anyway, this publishing company, not 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 somebody at the company, but actual company, they sent me this email asking me to review another book that they sent me in the mail. That's like the fourth in a series. And like I'm flattered that they want my opinion on that. And I'm probably gonna end up doing it. But, I mean, uh, you know, it's kind of like, uh, don't you have your own people for that? Why are you asking me to do it? Do you guys want to, like, take my books and start paying me for those? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It, it just feels like everybody wants something from me, but, like, which I guess is fine. But, like, hey, you know, what about me? I don't know. I guess it's best not to think about that kind of stuff too much. I mean, if there's a publishing company out there that wants to pick my stuff up, that'd be great. And it's not unheard of for self-published books to get picked up by bigger houses. Like, did you know that The Martian was self-published? As was Fifty Shades of Grey. And I hope they serve beer in hell. I just gotta figure out what the metric is for that. Or I guess the bars for admission. Like, what do I have to do for you to pick up my stuff? And I can't get anybody to fucking answer me on that. Or anybody that knows. Like, I've asked Twitter a few times. But everybody that wants to answer me is a bunch of fucking putzes that haven't even published a short story. So, you know. There's that. Good luck ever getting a fucking literary agent on the phone. Anyway, let's get back to this train. So interesting development on this book. Apparently the publishing company sent it to me, you know, the review copy because they think I'm an actual book reviewer, which I'm okay with. Now I'm gonna read it just to get my name on the back of another book. I guess that's a foot in the door. Don't be too quick to judge it. You'll end up making an asshole out of yourself on the internet. And people have been asking me to do book reviews in other fucking places. Most because that's how I got my initial following on Instagram was reviewing other people's books. Though, that wasn't exactly unselfish. I had this idea in my head that if I read people's books and reviewed them that they would do the same for me, you know, reciprocity. Didn't always work out. Actually, most of the time it didn't. Actually, more often than not, if you went and reviewed somebody's book and, you know, gave them the fucking whatever's on Amazon and gave them a big Instagram post about it, uh, you'd just get, like, a like every once in a while a comment. Though, you know, you get five or six that, you know, go back and read your book in return, so... I guess that's one place to fucking do it. That's not a good strategy unless you get a huge audience because at the end of the day, nobody cares. But hey, what are you gonna do, right? All right, let's get back to this painting. I think we're gonna add some highlights to it, you know, especially around the front of the engine. And we're gonna leave that bottom corner still black. And then after that, I think we'll do some clouds, not clouds, steam, you know, because it's a steam engine.
All right, so we're coming to our final form on this thing, and what we're going to do now is we're gonna take a wider brush and we're gonna fluff in mostly with like the bright pink and the corellium blue, the smoke around the base of the wheels and coming out of the fucking stovepipe. Let's do that. All right, so here's our choo-choo train. You wanted it, so on the site, you know where to get it, links down there. You know, kind of like where all the rest of my art is. I know it's kind of been a short video, but you know, day's been weird for me anyway, so uh, I got some other stuff going on. I got this junk growing on my, uh, well, junk, and uh, I've been meaning to go to the doctor about it, but I don't know, I, I kind of just been putting it on hold. Um, if you guys want to see it though, like hit like and subscribe, and I'll I'll show you what's, 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 what's growing down there. Ha ha ha!